All right, so we'll go into uh, today's S&P action here. It was kind of a crazy day. It's 3.12, which means there's 48 minutes left in the, in the day's session. Uh, today we had the payroll uh, numbers come out, which were quote unquote better than expected. <laughs> uh, man, you know, they're, they're out and out lying, but you know, that's nothing new. So this was from here to here was yesterday. So we, we had, uh, you know, a descend, bounce, test, and then finally broke and regained uh, right at the close there. And then we opened up higher today, which was a little bit of a mismatch on the SPX versus the SPY. But then, uh, you know, things dumped. And right in this candle right here, this is a five-minute chart. Right in this candle, it, I, went, uh, I went long on a, on a S&P or SPY put expiring today at 76 cents. Uh, I think it was the three, uh, I think it was the 339 or something like that. Uh, anyway, so I went long at 76 cents. We had dropped and it bounced right here. And I had a trail, I had a trailing limit stop, which was a mistake. So I should have just done a trailing stop. So I had a 20% follow trailing uh, stop so that, you know, as, as the price of the option rose, when the, when the ETF dropped, then, uh, you know, it moved my stop up importantly. So I bought in at 76 cents. Uh, it went up to like a dollar 90 or something. And then it came back and it, it triggered my stop, but I had stupidly put in a stop limit order where, uh, you know, when the stop is triggered, it puts in a limit rather than just a market order. And the market was moving too fast. It blew right past my limit. And so I was trying to get, get all that to work. It spent a few minutes, you know, during, during that time, this bounce was happening and the price of the option was just collapsing. I had got down to like 90 something cents. And it was up to, you know, it was like a dollar, it was like a dollar higher. So, um, you know, I finally figured that out. I closed it at like a dollar 10 or something like that. And <laughs> of course, once I capitulated, it resumed its downtrend. It went all the way down here and it went up to like, uh, it went up to like $3 or something like that. Uh, so, I, you know, I made 50% on the option trade, not bad. I could have made 600% just, you know, by being a little bit more patient and having, um, having, uh, I guess, more faith in the breakdown, I guess. But, you know, uh, so over here, if we look at the daily chart, it, it came down and it, it bounced off of this, uh, this prior congestion area and came back, came back, came back, uh, you know, digested some of, those, some of those gains and now is, you know, it's not back to even, but it's, it's back to half a percent. I think at one point he's down like 3%, something like that. So, uh, you know, big moves today, and we're seeing some increase in volatility. And, you know, increase in volatility typically means that uh, things happen. So, we look at the, the bigger time frame here. Uh, so, we've been up, up, up since March, and now we've dropped uh, there and then bounced here. So, uh, you know, you could look at this as, as a supporting, as a bullish U-turn pattern. Um, you know, the fact that, you know, support was held and then, you know, came back. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens over the weekend. The jobs report was was bad, no matter what kind of sugar coating you want to put on it. You know, is the narrative that, you know, you, we need to, uh, bad news is good news because that means more stimulus, more money printing, possibly. Uh, we'll see how the market reacts on Monday because it is Friday, end of the week. And we have that two-day gap, unlike in crypto markets where there are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So uh, that was the action today and, you know, the trades that I made. So, you know, we'll see how Monday goes.